Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Design for 3D Printing. Today we're going to talk about rods and how you can actually design them to be optimal for whatever your application happens to be. So starting here, let's just start with a standard rod. It is a perfect cylinder and it's designed to be printed vertically like this. If you're designing something like this, always make sure to chamfer the bottom of the cylinder so that you don't have to deal with any sort of material deformation and you're able to get a nice clean uh, base off of the part. This piece is viable and can be produced okay and there's not too many issues with it. In fact, it's kind of optimal because it's very easy to be ejected from the bed. However, the issue with printing a part like this is overall strength. It has slightly less strength in the Z axis so that if it is very long, it can actually be broken fairly easily. So this is fine if you're looking for reasonably high detail and fairly short. If you're making it too tall, then you can start to get material shrinkage issues and even vibration issues up at the very top of the part. So printing like this isn't always the optimal way to produce a very tall skinny part. If you are making something tall and skinny, you probably want to lean it sideways. This way, when it's printed, the layer lines are in the plane of the rod itself. That way you have something that is much stronger or as strong as really any other process would ever produce. But the issue with doing that is that if you lay it sideways, then you have a part kind of like this, where you have a very small surface contact area with the bed, which needs some type of additional support, like a brim and you don't always have a high level of reliability because with so little contact with the bed, the part can actually cause high rates of failure like this. So while you wanna print it on its side, you don't want a perfectly curved surface against the print bed itself. You want to ensure that it is always has a decent amount of contact. In order to do that, what you could do is just take the rod and then flatten a single side of it, just like so. This way it has a flat surface to sit on on the bed and can reliably be printed. When creating the flat side of one of these circular rods, make sure that the tangent angle from wherever your cut is, is at least 35 degrees. That ensures that this rod does not have any sag on the outer side. And it's a very simple definition of what the maximum cut can be. But now you have a circle with a slight flattened area that is not always ideal. So this might not be the optimal way of getting it done, but you do have 95% of a circular profile on this rod, which is just about all you need, but flattening one side of the circle is a very easy solution. But this all assumes that any rod or shaft that you have to create has to be circular. It does not. You can actually use hexagonal type of patterns. And these types of rods are fine. You can actually take it all the way up to almost a 10 sided profile where it will still be able to print reliably, but you want to ensure that the single bottom angle is not more than 35 degrees. So you're kind of restricted to almost an octagon at the highest, but this allows you to have a high level of contact area with the bed and a generally circular profile, though you may have to change the holes that it is going into. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of information about how to design rods for 3D printing. You can go vertical and that's okay, but once it gets tall, it can get a little bit finicky. Laying it sideways, you have to make sure you have a flat surface, which means that you either have to flatten the side of the rod or you have to go for an overall hexagonal rod so that you have good strength and a good consistent outer profile and geometry across the entire part. Please comment down below if there's other topics that you'd like us to cover around a mass production 3D printing and other types of design features that we could possibly dig into a little bit more. Have a great day everybody!